Paul Rubens born Rubenfeld, August 27, 1952 to July 30, 2023, was an American actor, comedian, writer, producer, and children's entertainer. Rubin starred as the iconic character that made him famous, first on television in The Pee Wee Herman Show, and later in two movies, Pee Wee's Big Adventure and Big Top Pee Wee. He also appeared in Cheech and Chang's Nice Dreams and Buffy the Vampire Slayer, 59. He was known for his character Pee Wee Herman. Rubens joined the Los Angeles troupe The Groundlings in the 1970s and started his career as an improvisational comedian and stage actor. In 1982, Rubens began appearing in a show about a character he had been developing for years. The show was called The Pee Wee Herman Show and ran for five sold-out months. HBO also produced a successful special about it. Pee Wee became an instant cult figure and, for the next decade, Rubens was completely committed to his character, doing all of his public appearances and interviews as Pee Wee. His feature film, Pee Wee's Big Adventure, 1985, directed by Tim Burton, was a financial and critical success and soon developed into a cult film. Its sequel, Big Top Pee Wee, 1988, was less successful. Between 1986 and 1990, Rubin starred as Pee Wee in the CBS Saturday morning children's program Pee Wee's Playhouse. Rubens died from cancer on July 30th, 2023, at the age of 70. He was diagnosed with the disease six years prior and had not revealed it to the public. Subscribe my channel before going further in the video like comment share your friends and family. Dear Valak Slovenian theater and film actor. March 20th, 1941 Banja Luka Bosnia and Herzegovina July 29th, 2023. He studied drama at AGRFT from 1961 to 1965 and graduated in 1991. From 1969 to 1971, he was a freelance actor. During this time, he played in SNG Drama Ljubljana, Experimental Theater Glitch, Slovenian Youth Theater, Primorska Drama Theater, and on the city stage in Koper. From 1971 until his retirement in 2005, he was a member of Ljubljana Drama. He was also one of the founders of the Cultural Forum of the Slovenian Democratic Party. He was the nephew of actor Aleksandr Valik. He had four children, Nina Valik and Blas Valik are actors. Lara is a professional associate in the National Assembly of the Republic of Slovenia, and Maya is an architect. He died after a long illness. He was buried on July 29, 2023, at the Visca Cemetery in Ljubljana. He was aged 82. Edgar Pazer, Casillas du Sol, 1938, Porto Alegre, July 29, 2023, was a singer of Brazilian and international music. Of Italian descent, he was the first singer from Rio Grande du Sol to perform a repertoire of Italian songs, which he did, in addition to the media, at the Girasol Bar, now a pub. At the age of 10, he won first place in a radio contest with the song Sing, Sing Bird. At the age of 19, he won the state stage of the Davos de Auro ABC contest by Tupi and Diffusera radio stations. Then he signed a contract with Radio Faroepolha and started to run a weekly television program on TV Piratini, Edgar Pazer EA Musica. For 15 years he sang in Conjunto Norberto Baldoff, brightening the rectory balls from URGS. She defended the song Pandero de Prada by Tulio Piva, winner of two festival Sol Brasileiro de MPB and represented in O Brasil Canta no Rio and Rio de Janeiro. He recorded three LPs and five CDs and received the award of Honorary Citizen of Porto Alegre. Assuming an environmentalist role, he composed Marca das Corujas, which alludes to the episode of the Preservationist Clash on Capeo de Canoa Beach. Edgar Pazer died on July 29, 2023, at the age of 84. No cause of death was given recently. 
Sophie Filiers was a French film director and screenwriter who wrote for more than 15 film and television productions from 1991 on. Born in 1964, is a film director, screenwriter, and a mother of two children, among them is the actress Agath Bonitzer, born from the union with the screenwriter and film director Pascal Bonitzer, and is also the sister of the actress Hélène Filiers. Sophie is from the first Femi School promotion in the direction course section. Along her education, she shot several films. In 1991, she introduces a remarkable short film Des Fias E.T. de Chiens that depicts a comic existential conversation between two young girls played by Sandrine Kiberlane and Helen Filiers, who were then beginning actresses. In the 90s, she contributes to screenwriting films directed by the young French cinema generation, Nord, Oblimois, Sombre. In 1994, she moves from short to long features with Grande Petite and is selected at the Berlin Festival and Cretile International Women's Festival at the 1994's edition, the story of a young girl Judith Godrish who finds a gun and a considerable amount of money in the street. An enigmatic title, an unsuitable situation, a woman as a main character. Here are the main features that remain constant in Sophie's artistic universe. In AIE, she gives to Hélène Filiers the beautiful character of a whimsical girl who gives André Dessalier a hard time. In 2005, Emmanuel DeVos plays Fontaine Leglou, the lunatic heroine from Gentil, the director's third opus. Chiara Mastriani embodies the writer in a void of inspiration in Unchat, Unchat, an art film about the power of language. In 2014, she writer Reed O.U.J.E. Continue, a comedy starring Emmanuel DeVos and Matthew Amalric. Then, in 2018, La Belle E.T. La Belle with Sandrine Kiberlane and Agath Bonitzer. This last full feature is selected in more than 10 international film festivals. In fall 2021, she was expecting to shoot her next full feature entitled Ma Vai Ma Gul. Filiers died on July 31, 2023, at the age of 58. And no cause of death was given recently. David Albahari, Serbian Cyrillic March 15, 1948 to July 30, 2023, was a Serbian writer. Al Bahari wrote mainly novels and short stories in the Serbian language. He was also an established translator from English into Serbian. He was a member of the Serbian Academy of Sciences and Arts and a University of Belgrade graduate. Al Bahari was awarded the prestigious NIN Award for the Best Novel of 1996 for Mamak, Bait. He was among the award's finalists on seven more occasions. In 2012, he was awarded the Violinica Prize. He also received the following awards, Ivo Andrik Award, 1982, Stanislav Vinover Award, 1993, NIN Prize, 1996, National Library of Serbia Award for Best Seller, 1996, International Balkanica Award, 1996, Bridge Berlin Award, 1998, City of Belgrade Award, 2005 and Isidora Sekulik Award 2014 on July 29 2016 Al Bahari won the first award at the Druga Prakasna another story literary festival in Skopje Macedonia Al Bahari was a contributor to Geist magazine David Al Bahari died on July 30th 2023 at the age of 75 no cause of death was given recently Betty and Bruno, Ney Kane, October 1, 1931 to July 30, 2023, was an American child actress turned reporter and television host who worked for KTVU Channel 2 in San Francisco for over 20 years until her retirement in 1992. Betty and Kane was born on October 1, 1931 in Wahiawa, Hawaii, but grew up in Hollywood, California. As a child, she appeared in the 1939 film The Wizard of Oz as one of the Munchkins. Before that, she had a bit role in John Ford's 1937 film The Hurricane. 
Her work in television won her three Emmy Awards. In 2020, she published her autobiography, titled The Munchkin Diary, My Personal Yellow Brick Road. Bruno lived in California, was married to Craig Shiner, and had three sons. She was a Stanford graduate and was reported in media as one of the few surviving cast members from The Wizard of Oz. Betty and Bruno died on July 30, 2023, at the age of 91. She was survived by her second husband, Craig Shiner, a former KTVU photographer, and her three sons. Clive Rollins Daniel Clive Thomas Rollins OBE, May 14, 1938 to July 29, 2023, was a Welsh rugby union footballer and coach. Rollins was born in Upper CW MTWRCH on May 14, 1938. As recorded in the preface for the book The Children of Craig Winos, Rollins was admitted in 1947 as an eight-year-old to Craig Winos TB Hospital in Breckenshire. He was given a rugby ball as a gift and accidentally kicked it through a glass door for which he was put in a straitjacket for a week. A teacher by profession, he played club rugby at Scrum Half for Abercraft, Pontypool, Planehly, and Swansea. He captained Pontypool in the 1962-63 season and captained Swansea in the 1967-1968 season. After retiring as a player, Rollins was coach of the Welsh national team for 29 matches between 1968 and 1974, becoming the youngest person to hold this position. This was a successful period for Wales, including a Grand Slam in 1971 and included the tour of New Zealand in 1969. He was manager of the British and Irish Lions tour to Australia in 1989, managed the British Isles team versus the rest of the world team in 1986, and also managed Wales in the 1987 Rugby World Cup. He was president of the Welsh Rugby Union in 1989. After recovering from cancer in the 1990s, Rollins focused his attention on raising money for cancer charities. He died on July 29, 2023, at the age of 85. 